Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Cardano uh, and the ADA token. Wanted to do a quick update on that since, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I try to cover Cardano every once in a while. I think I do it every every week. Uh, so in this video, we'll just do a full update again on it. Technicals are quite interesting right now because we actually had a, a good bullish breakout here above this minor level. Uh, right here, which will, well, it's nicely highlighted right now around to 37 and a half cents. But now we're struggling with that 0 0.5 FIB of the move down. Um, so we'll talk about whether we can break above that. I do think so, but we'll cover how. Uh, and apart from that, also the fundamentals on Cardano. Uh, because Cardano right now, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but it's actually doing very well in terms of some network statistics that I do think it's very valuable for you to know uh, because it might actually change your opinion on Cardano and, and whether you want to buy it or not. So that is what we'll talk about in this video. Uh, now, before we get into that though, if you want to receive daily trading signals, including also on Cardano, then check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment, and there you will find instructions on how to join. But now onto Cardano. So to start off with those network statistics, what you can actually see right now at Cardano is that the total of, that, that, that we reached a new high with the total value locked, which is pretty impressive. If you compare this with other cryptos or other blockchains like Solana, like like Ethereum, like all of the big ones, none of them are trending up like this. Like Cardano started an uptrend beginning of this year and hasn't stopped since. This is the last 12 months. Last year, you can, we're actually the highest that we've been in the last year, which is crazy. Last three years, we're pretty high. I mean, we're at, at around the levels we were at in, uh, in, in when the bear market started, which is pretty good. Uh, but overall, we're just growing, growing really well. And that's very bullish on Cardano. If you compare it with other, uh, or that's very, very bullish for ADA as well, both for the short and the long term. I would be very comfortable if I was holding Cardano for the long term now. I'm not, but, uh, but, but, but still, I might. You know, it's, um, it's getting more interesting and interesting. I actually wanted to check out, compared to other blockchains, how much total value locked it has, but it doesn't seem like DeFi Llama is loading. So we'll just get into the in, into the technicals then. So now the big thing is, is that we actually do have quite a lot of bullish momentum in the markets. Dollar strength index is falling a little bit. So overall, what I think is that right now, especially with that bullish breakout we had, like you can also drag a, a Fibonacci from, from this bottom right here. And what you'll see is that we have a lot of support here in this level. I might even set a price target for if it gets back there that I'll buy from there. But we're in this level right now between 38.15 and 37.5 cents. That's kind of the area we're in. But that 37.5 cents is so strong of a support that even, even now that Bitcoin overall is, is, is quite bullish, even if it drops down to, our, to, to the next support levels, I would say that Cardano will actually hold this level right here. Um, and I think overall, it's just a matter of time before we break above 38 and a half, or let's say, let's say 38.38.3 38 cents. It's a, it's a matter of time before we break above that and that we get to this level right here around 39 and 39 and a half cents. I do think we'll find resistance there. I don't think we can easily break above that. Perhaps we can if there's sustained bullish momentum, but there's no indication for that yet. Uh, but that's what I expect on the short term. So. Whether we, whether we get that drop down to 37 and a half cents again or not, depends a little bit on the market. And that depends a little bit on the dollar strength index. It's hard to predict that. But overall, this is what I expect. So that's my take on Cardano and ADA for now. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.